and the latest updates coming up here in just a few minutes. Kelly. Okay, Adam, thank you. First at noon, leading the way on that breaking news out of Columbus, where an Amber Alert remains active. Police are looking for a missing five-year-old boy and his foster mother. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson joining us live with the latest on that search. Karen. Well, it's been about nine hours now since Columbus police received a 911 call from a man saying his wife left their home with their five-year-old foster child and he was either hurt or in danger. Two hours later, a statewide Amber Alert was issued for five-year-old Darnell Taylor and 48-year-old Pammy May. May's husband told police she abruptly left the home with the child. Well, just about six o'clock, thanks to a flock camera, May's Jeep was located in the city of Brooklyn, which is just near Cleveland, but it was unoccupied. And right now, the search continues for both Darnell and May. Again, this is um, a very fluid investigation and it's very new. We're still processing everything and we're still learning and gathering information. We just thought it was really important to um, stand before you and ask for the public's assistance. If you've seen anything, if you've heard anything, if you saw that vehicle, if you think you may have seen them or have any information regarding their whereabouts, we're pleading, please give us a call. And investigators say the child has been in May's care uh, since last May. Right now, they say they're in the process of tracking down his biological parents. Reporting live, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. And now, Karen, I know a lot of people in Cincinnati, this was a statewide Amber Alert, wondering why our phones did not go off when that Amber Alert was issued. Did you get any clarity there? Yeah, very good question. It's something we've been wondering. And I talked to Ohio State Highway Patrol and the way they explained it to me, even though a statewide Amber Alert was issued, they break it down by region uh, in terms of which region gets the alert. And they said when they sent out the alert on the phone, they decided just to send it to the Columbus region because at that point uh, they had no reason to believe that May would have left that area. All right, WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson reporting for us at noon. Karen, thank you. Developing here on WLWT, 